Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin, and you're watching How Do I Use Windows Phone 7 on Butterscotch.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at the connections that are available on Windows Phone 7. So first things first, we need to get into our settings menu. By default, it's uh, down the bottom here of the secondary menu. So now we need to be in the systems option here. So first things first, let's find a Wi-Fi connection and, and connect to that. This will save our data plan when we're, uh, when we're using heavy data. So if we're doing things like downloading apps in the marketplace or downloading games in Xbox Live, we'll definitely want to be on Wi-Fi. So the first things first, you'll need to make sure you turn on your Wi-Fi connection. So here it is off. Just tap the button and it'll turn on. Don't tap it too many times or you'll be dealing with what I'm dealing with right now. Now we'll see a list of all of our available um, access points here. So we'll look for the one that, uh, that is our access point. In this case, it's Butterscotch, and we've already connected to it. We can see here um, this connection point is actually open, so we could just tap and connect to that. But you'll need to have your Wi-Fi passcode. So in this case, we'll try and connect to Easy Wi-Fi. Now, like I said, you need to have your uh, passcode. You don't need to worry about um, what kind of encryption is actually on the network. If it's WPA, PSK, or WEP, it doesn't really matter. All you need to have is uh, the passcode. Um, and as soon as you input the passcode and hit done, you'll be connected to the network. So we've done that already for butterscotch.com, so we'll just tap on that. Now we can see here that we are connected. Close that out. And now we are actually connected to that Wi-Fi network. So back into the connections menu. Again, settings on the secondary menu screen. Take a quick look at airplane mode. So this is a mode that you want to be using if you're flying. Uh, you're not allowed to use any of the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or um, the actual cellular radio in your phone. But you might still want to do things like play games, watch movies, and that kind of stuff. So by tapping this toggle here, we're actually turning it into airplane mode, indicated by the little airplane in the top left here. And this means that all of our wireless communication methods are actually turned off. I'll turn that back on here. We hit the back button and we'll go back into the connections. We'll have a quick look at the cellular options here. So this can be handy if we're, for example, uh, traveling overseas or even into, uh, you know, into Canada or the United States. Uh, we might want to turn uh, cellular roaming off. So what that'll do is it'll actually allow us to still use our, the data on our phone, or sorry, still use the voice communication on our phone, but it won't be pulling data as we're kind of walking along. So for example, it won't be pushing our email to our phone. We won't come home to find a, a pretty massive bill, a big surprise bill. So all you need to do to turn cellular data roaming off is touch that button there. We can also turn it on and we can also um, set rules for how we actually want to uh, to use the cellular connection. So in this case, we have it set to don't roam. So if we're actually outside of our home network, um, that is our home cellular network, we won't be using data in that case. One last thing we'll take a look at is setting up a Bluetooth accessory on Windows Phone 7. So here we tap the Bluetooth icon. Now in this case, Bluetooth is currently turned off. So we'll turn it on. Now it's actually looking for, uh, apparently there's a lot of Bluetooth devices in the, in the vicinity here. What, what we're going to do is we're going to turn on this device, which is a Sennheiser um, Bluetooth headset. And now we should see it turn up on our menu screen. If the device doesn't immediately turn up in your list, you might want to turn Bluetooth off and turn it back on again. You also want to be sure that your device is in pairing mode. In this case, the rapidly blinking blue LED indicates that it is in um, pairing mode. Let's go have a look through here. So there we're seeing the Sennheiser EX60 or EZX60. Tap on that to pair. So as you can see, it's pretty much automatically connected to our Bluetooth headset. Most devices will require that you input a passcode, but it looks like in this case, Windows Phone 7 just tried the default passcode. More often than not, that's four zeros and has been able to connect without us actually having to intervene. And now, anytime our Bluetooth headset is in range of our phone, um, if both are turned on and in pairing mode, it'll automatically connect and we can just start using our Bluetooth headset right away. Thanks for watching. How do I use the different connection methods on Windows Phone 7? Be sure to check out the show notes on butterscotch.com and tune into other parts in this series.